Welcome to Baby Child & Co. I'm so happy to come your way again. On this channel, we talk about everything and anything relating to the health of your babies and your children because we want them to be healthy so that the family can be happy as a whole. Have you heard of G6PD? G6PD is an enzyme in our red blood cells. Our blood has the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. The red blood cells are what carries oxygen. The white blood cells are involved in helping us to fight infection. And the platelets are involved in helping our blood to clot. So GCSPD is an enzyme in red blood cells. What it does is that it protects the red blood cells from breaking down before they are time for breaking up. It's up. So it protects the red blood cells from premature breakdown. What causes GCSPD defects? It is inherited. It's an inherited condition. And the way it is inherited makes it commoner in boys than girls. When your child has GCSPD defect or your baby has GCSPD defect, what happens is that when that baby is exposed to certain stresses, the red blood cells will break down. When the red blood cells break down, the end result is that the baby's urine may be colored like cola, Coca-Cola, or tea. And the baby's eyes and skin may become yellow. That is what we call jaundice. I've done a video on unital jaundice. You can look that one up. And then because the red blood cells are breaking down, the baby has anemia or is short of blood and may need a blood transfusion. I said that the red cells break down when they are exposed to certain stresses. So those stresses could be infections like malaria, urinary tract infection. Those ones can cause the red blood cells to break down. It can be certain drugs, notable are what we call sulfur drugs. They can also cause the red blood cells to break down. And it can be what we call camphor or naphthalene balls. So when babies lack GCSPD or they have GCSPD defects, they don't even need to touch the naphthalene balls or it doesn't even need to touch their skin. Sometimes just putting them in the clothing of the babies to ward off, I think, bad smells or cockroaches or whatever. After you put that thing on the baby's skin, you wear that dress for the baby, the baby can have hemolysis or the red cells can break down prematurely and these manifestations may happen. The breakdown of the red blood cells, unfortunately, can be life-threatening. That is why it's important for you to know whether your baby has GCSPD defect or not. When babies have GCSPD defect, once it's detected in counseling, the parent is normally given a list of drugs to avoid. So what happens is that once you know that your baby has GCSPD defect, when that baby is sick, you don't need to go and buy medications over the counter. What you need to do is to take that baby to hospital and not to forget to mention that the baby has GCSPD defect so that the drugs can be chosen accordingly for your baby to protect your baby. Again, because infections can cause the premature breakdown of red cells, you need to protect your baby from them. So personal hygiene, washing your hands, keeping your homes clean, and having your babies and children to sleep in insecticide-treated nets because that will protect them from malaria. Good nutrition because when your child is well-nourished, um, when infections and infestations come, they don't affect the child as badly and sometimes they don't even succumb to them at all. Then you must follow through with the childhood immunizations because we know that these immunizations protect the children. So that must be done for the children as well. So that is what GCSPD defect is. There's this misconception that I have heard severally. That is that babies or children who have GCSPD defects should not eat beans. That is not true. We know that children need good nutrition to grow well and go to school and do well. So by all means, they can eat beans, they can eat soya beans. There is a kind of beans called fava beans that is in the Mediterranean. And that is what babies and children who have GCSPD defects should not eat. But our regular cowpea, our regular soya beans, the red beans, they can eat. So when your baby has GCSPD defect, don't worry at all. What you need to do is to observe your personal hygiene, your cleanliness, good nutrition, take your child for all his or her immunizations. Remember to mention it to the doctor all the time. And it is not a good idea to buy over-the-counter medications because the medications must be selected well for the baby or the child to protect him or her from the premature breakdown of their red cells.
I hope that I've been able to explain this to you well. But if you have questions, we are very, very happy to take them. You can leave them in the comment section. Have you visited our blog? It's called babychildandco.com. You should go there. You can join the parenting club. It's free. You can join the forum to see what other parents are talking about. If you have questions of your own, you can put them there. You can share parenting tips. We'll be very happy to have you. Thank you for watching this one. Please watch out for the next one. Bye.